Before I head inside, let me explain what we're gonna be doing here. We're gonna show you how to install Schluter Detra on wood plywood. So in this video, you're gonna get all the tips and tricks that you need to do this yourself. And in the end, we've got a really cool offer for you if you're gonna be remodeling your bathroom. So stay tuned until the end because I think you're really gonna like what we have to tell you. All right, let's dive into the tutorial right now. We're gonna go ahead and install uh, the underlayment for tile uh, on a wood subfloor. Since I've been using this process, not only does it make the floor waterproof, but it is considerably faster, easier, and the technology behind this product uh, ensures that, that your, your tile uh, isn't gonna be subjected to expansion and contraction of the, uh, of the wood that you're going over. Now there are some things you have to consider uh, before installing any tile and, and knowing what your joist spacing is, knowing the thickness of, of, of the wood that you're applying it over. Ideally, if it's plywood, you want it to be at least three quarters of an inch thick. Now there are some engineered specs. Uh, if you're going on 24 inch center and you're using stone, you're gonna have to thicken that subfloor for deflection. But on a typical install, if you're doing porcelain tile, three quarter inch subfloor over 16 inch standard, 16 inch on center joists, this product is gonna be perfect for you. Uh, it makes it very easy. Um, it's called Schluter Detra. And basically this is just a, a membrane, an uncoupling membrane that I'll be hearing directly over the plywood and then the tile will be installed over top of this. Thin setting this to the floor and then setting the tile to this. And, and the idea, there's a lot of theory and technology and engineering put into this product, but the basics are that this separates the plywood layer from the tile and allowing just normal expansion and contraction of that wood to not transfer through the tile. So it's better than I'm putting a cement board down. Cement board, these days, if you put cement board down, you'd almost want to still put this over top of it. But not only does, not only does this help keeping that transfer of, of uh, expansion and contraction, but it also is waterproof. I mean, what's better than that? I mean, you, you have your toilet overflow or, you know, kids are making a lot of splashes in the, in the tub. Having this waterproof uh, gives you confidence and peace of mind that it's not gonna ruin anything below it. There's way too many times that I pull up a toilet and I see the wood totally rotted around that whole area. Now granted, it probably has to do with a lot of the, the toilet leaking itself, but if you use a product like this, that's gonna keep that from happening. So there's a lot of advantages to doing it. For me personally, it's so easy and light I could cut it with a utility knife. I'm not inhaling any dust by cutting all that concrete board. I don't have to screw anything down. I'm just thin setting it. So it's a very easy product to, to install. So there's a couple components that go with it. It's the actual membrane itself. And these come in all different size rolls. You know, for, for this little bathroom area, you could probably just get a 50 square foot roll and be fine. It comes with the Curdy band. This is exactly the same stuff that we used for around the tub surround to, to waterproof the joints of the curdy band board. So you want to put this over any seam in the corners of, of the room and wrap that up the wall so that you have a nice waterproof tight uh, floor. And then you want to use the curdy fix. This is primarily to fill the gap between the tub and the Detra. So we'll show you how to install that. And then I'd say one of the, um, a very important aspect of this is using the right notched trial. Schluter makes a trial specifically for Detra. It's 11 64 basically 3 16 inch depth square notch trial. This will make adhering this down to the subfloor the proper thickness. Uh, and another great thing about it is, is if you're using the correct notch trial, not only do you get a nice flat surface, but you can immediately install tile over top of this if you wanted to try to attempt to install tile the same day you put the underlayment down. Um, most other products, you're just not going to be able to have the time to do that. If you, especially if you use cement board, it's going to take you half the day just to install that. And then by the time you get to doing the tile, it's, it's usually past <laughs> the time you want to work. So we'll go ahead and put this down. It's a great product and, uh, and uh, we'll show you how easy and simple it is to do it yourself. So the first thing you want to do is, is just to dry fit this down. And the rule of thumb is basically trying to keep a quarter inch reveal between the edge of the floor 
and the D truck. And Schluter recommends this, and this is especially important to, to stay within their warranty. You want to have an expansion joint between the edge of the floor and the and the Dietra itself. So when you're dry fitting it, just keep that in mind. And that's a, that's a run of all areas against the tub as well. Keep a quarter inch gap between the tub and the Dietra. But I'm going to just kind of rough cut this before applying thin set. Okay, so the first thing you want to do after you have your first piece dry fitted is to make sure your surface is all clean. Take any of the drywall mud that might be stuck to the floor. Anything that can possibly jeopardize the, the thin set that's going to adhere to the actual plywood. So make sure your surface is clean, dust proof. I mean, dust can actually keep that thin set from bonding to the, uh, the thin set or to the, uh, to the plywood. And what you want to do to apply the Dietra to your wood subfloor is using modified thin set. So make sure whatever you buy or whatever you're looking at purchasing that it's going to be modified. Um, that's what you want to adhere down to the, the subfloor. And to keep that layer of thin set from immediately getting dried out from the, the plywood, because plywood's you know mostly wood and it's I mean it's obviously wood, but it's dry. And you don't want when you, as soon as you put down that thin set, you don't want it to suck the moisture out of the uh, thin set too quickly. So just take a damp, just take a sponge. It doesn't have to be soaking wet, but just wipe down your subfloor in the areas that you're going to be putting this detritus. So this will also take take any dust off. But you just do a quick once over prior to installing that the detra. Okay, so when I mix this thin set, I made it very loose. It wants to kind of fall off the trial. You want to try to apply the maximum amount of water your thin set says that it can do. Because uh, you want to have this very, I guess, thin. It just allows you to, to spread this out and be able to adhere to the d trick correctly. So I'm going to put a bunch out here. First step, like any towel setting, is to burn the thin set into the into the subsurface. So just taking the flat side of your trowel and just working it into the plywood. I usually just do an area of arm's length and do that full area. down and then try to comb everything in the same direction. Okay, and making sure you have that quarter inch reveal. But I just have a regular drop float that I use to apply pressure to it and put it in place. So if this is the first time you've done it, you know, I mean, you'll get a feel for it. If you use the right notch trowel and you just did what I did, you'll get good coverage. But you can see that 80% of this is covered and that's what you're looking for. So just make sure you have good coverage. We said 80% coverage in the video, but try to shoot for 100% if you can. That just ensures that the Dietra is completely embedded in the thin set. Okay, so 
with the right notch trowel, using their Dietra trowel, um, this you can walk on this afterwards. It won't it won't indent. Um, sometimes if you kneel on it a little bit, it, it can in some areas. But if you're using the right notch trowel, it's not going to sink too much. And obviously, if your floor is pretty level, um, it, it's meant to be able to be walked off immediately afterwards. The same thing on the as you continue. You might be wondering what Steve is doing here. He's pounding in any loose ring shank nails. Always a good idea to do that. Okay, so you just want to butt this straight up against your other piece of Dietra close as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but remain with that quarter inch gap around the room here. It's a little tight around the corner here, so I'm just going to take out a little bit of detour to, to get that quarter inch reveal. And again, you know, you could just pull some of this out and uh, make sure you're getting the right amount of coverage. And actually, I do have a blank spot right there, so I want to make sure. I am. Just use whatever you have left, too. I mean, it doesn't have to be a full piece. You can put as many pieces together as you want. So, um, in this little mock-up that we have here, um, Obviously, we don't have a uh, toilet flange where we need a toilet. So, uh, since this is a mock-up and it's just a basement project, we didn't have that put in here. But really, that is just as simple as cutting around that flange, keeping that same quarter-inch reveal around the flange, and then you'll be able to use uh, you'll be able to use the Curdy fix to go around that toilet flange and it'll keep everything waterproof up to the toilet flange. Now obviously, I mean this is waterproof to a point. If your toilet does overflow, there's obviously areas around where your bolts connect and everything that water can get, you know, down and below uh, the pipe. So this isn't meant to necessarily be able to take a shower in this room, but it's gonna keep uh, the majority of the water from splashing out of the tub to uh, some basic, um, you know, water issues from absorbing into the plywood. All right, so that is how you install Schluter Dietra on a wood subfloor. This is actually a part one of two video. You can watch the second video right here, and that will show you how to completely waterproof the Dietra in a bathroom. Now here's what I wanted to tell you about. We have a free video series for you if you're going to be starting a bathroom remodel. You can check that out right here, and we'll show you how to demo a bathroom, put in a new tub, put in the plumbing, and so much more. So again, check that out right here. But for today, if you have any questions about this tutorial, ask them down in the comments. So again, ask them down in the comments. We'd be more than happy to help you out. And as usual, you can always click the subscribe button if you wanna watch our videos over here on YouTube. And they come out every single Tuesday. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the comments. Take care, have a good one. better time to practice softball.